Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the narcissist's biggest weaknesses. But before I begin, please give this video a thumbs up down below. It helps the YouTube algorithm to get this message out there. Narcissists like to act tough, as though they're inaccessible. They're impossible to understand, and there's just no way for you to affect them. When in fact the opposite is true, they're more susceptible than normal people. They're very sensitive. They're easily affected, influenced and harmed. But you don't always see that because they've already studied and learned you. So they've already got the upper hand. They've already got the position of power. And because of that, they feel superior. They believe that they are unaffected by consequences. That they are unaffected by an effect, logical results or conclusion. When just that way of thinking is often what puts them in situations that don't end well for them. Because they're very reckless and impulsive. They're out of control. And whenever they're pursuing a relationship, they're always in a state of grandiosity. It's just to prove their desirability. So it has nothing to do with you. And yet they put in all of this energy just to end up cheating on you or to end up sabotaging it in some way. Because while they may have already proven their desirability, they now have to prove to themselves that they can do whatever they want and that they can outsmart you by cheating because it validates them. It tells them that they're smart because they managed to get one over on you and you didn't even know about it, which tells them that they're above the standards of acceptable behavior and they can still do what makes them feel better about themselves, at least until they get caught. But we often don't see what they're doing or it doesn't make sense to us because we're not looking at it the way that they're looking at it. While they're interpreting reality from a psychotic and warped state of mind, so to them, they've outsmarted you and it makes perfect sense because it validates their false self, which is this character that protects them from any slights or criticism. And this character is always in effect, which means that they have to be dependent on something outside of them at all times. They can never be independent because their false self needs to be validated, which means that they require excessive attention, admiration and praise. They can't live without it. And this is one of their main weaknesses because anyone can come in and pretend to cooperate with them for the purpose of achieving their own goals and objectives. And the narcissist wouldn't even see it coming because they don't see anything outside of themselves. All they see is what they're receiving, so it blinds them. It causes them to be easily convinced and persuaded because they cannot resist compliments and praise. They can't live without it. Even though they may act powerful and superior, they're actually very gullible and naive because they're only concerned about things that interest them. They just pretended to like what you like, but really they have no interest in it. They just used it to extract your energy and attention, but they take all of these chances because they really believe that they're never going to lose and that they're never going to get caught. They believe that they're invincible and untouchable as though there's nothing that can take them down because they view themselves as expert manipulators and they don't believe that you can see through their lies. They assume that you're susceptible to it, even though you may already know what they're doing 
and you may have all of the facts. They just can't see things from your perspective because they're heavily dependent on their illusions, which they're using to distort your judgment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up down below if you find it helpful. It only works for them if you're insecure or if you doubt yourself. That is when you will fall victim to the illusions that narcissists use to entrap their victims. Because then you will be reacting to the narcissist's false character. But they can't always know what a person's reaction is going to be. So a lot of times they're just assuming that you're into the false character. They're assuming that you can't see what they're really doing. And that is why they hate your independence. And they hate it when you think for yourself. It's why they try to erode your intelligence. Because otherwise it would lessen the effectiveness of their false character. And then you would see right through it. Which is why they just don't want you to think. They want you to feel. Based on whatever they're displaying to you. And they're assuming that this act will last for as long as they need it to. Which is why they don't tend to think ahead. And they will never see what direction you're going to take. As long as they think you're going along with a plan. Because they're too wrapped up in the fantasy. In their delusions of grandeur, beauty, unlimited power and success. Which is why they don't seem to care too much for morals, values, discipline or truth. Because these things are all connected to reality. And reality is very harmful and damaging to a narcissist. They can't deal with things as they actually exist. They need an idealistic version of reality in order for them to function. Where they can believe that nothing is unattainable or outside of their reach no matter how unrealistic it may seem, because they just can't deal with reality. Which is why they hold this belief that they can impose their order on the world instead of allowing things to play out naturally. Because they can't deal with things as they actually are. They need the fantasy, which is why it's very easy to make them believe anything. If you just sell them on something they want to believe about themselves or something that gives them a sense of importance and they won't even see it coming but it will render them dependent on it and they already know this about themselves which is why they're very cautious because they know there's nothing they can do if someone were to use their own defense mechanisms against them which is why narcissists tend to congregate around attractive and accomplished people. Because they believe that they're superior to normal people. They believe that normal people would never understand them. Because in their minds, they're special. And they're entitled to special treatment at all times. Because they have an inflated ego to compensate for their low self-esteem. So they need to be around productive and accomplished people. They can't just be around the average person. It's not going to be enough to feed their ego because they need that validation. They need to feel important, which is one of their biggest weaknesses. Because unlike a normal person, they can't regulate themselves from within. They can't tell themselves that they're special or that they've done a good job. So they have to go out manipulating and deceiving people. They need constant attention. Just to get that feeling of satisfaction. That we can generate so effortlessly from within. Because their ego doesn't do that. It doesn't do anything. It's heavily dependent on external validation. They can't live without it. And this is why they can never be alone. Because they have to get it from other people at all times. 
They can't satisfy themselves. They can't be happy with themselves. So they can't love themselves. And if they can't love themselves, they can't love anyone. Which is their ultimate weakness because it leaves them at the whim of other people's opinions of them. It prevents them from ever experiencing real happiness or inner peace. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button to receive the notifications. And if you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you all for watching and I will talk to you soon.